We are here in New Hampshire, the crucial Democratic debate right here tomorrow night, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But we begin tonight with that dangerous line of storms tearing across several states tonight, heading into several major cities in the east. At least 20 tornadoes already reported, and at least two people killed. Children huddling inside the hallways at a preschool in Simpsonville, South Carolina. And look at this tonight, workers holding the doors shut against powerful winds in Spartanburg, South Carolina. In Knoxville, Tennessee, torrential rains, flooding roads, cars underwater. And in Alabama, one person was killed when severe storms swept through, homes destroyed, some washed away. A very anxious night ahead with ice, snow, freezing rain all coming right behind us. ABC's Steve Osinsami leading us off from Atlanta tonight. Across parts of the South this evening, thunderbolts are raining down and families recovering from severe storms today are bracing for more tonight. The tornado sirens were blaring in Athens, Georgia. In uptown Charlotte, there were warnings to take cover. A reported tornado was approaching the city. All of Mecklenburg County is in a tornado warning right now. Of course, a lot of populated areas, a lot of folks in school. At this South Carolina preschool, children were singing to themselves as they sheltered in the hallways. At this furniture store in Spartanburg, they had to hold on to this door to keep the high winds from blowing it away. These are the heavy rains in Knoxville, Tennessee, and the flooded roads. In Gatlinburg, the river through town was raging. Outside Chattanooga, first responders had to rescue this man by boat after his SUV was surrounded by floodwaters. The water rose so high in Harlan County, Kentucky, mobile homes were washing away. The high winds snapped trees across the storm zone. This dash camera video shows a driver on the highway nearly getting hit by a falling tree on Interstate 285 in the Atlanta suburbs. Other drivers weren't so fortunate. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt. This storm system has claimed at least two lives, including an Alabama woman killed in her home. The damage is total here. As you can see, what was left of that mobile home strewn across all of these trees. High winds ripped it apart. David, I'd like you to take a look at what's around me. These are floodwaters along a walking trail, water that shouldn't be here. Local forecasters say that we saw a month's worth of rain in just a few short hours. David? Incredible scene there in Atlanta tonight, Steve. Thank you. And as I mentioned at the top tonight, dangerous snow and ice moving in right after this in several major cities in the east. So let's get to meteorologist Rob Marciano tracking it all tonight. Rob? Howdy, David. What a mess. And this storm only getting bigger and stronger. We've got the tornado watch that's been expanded to include parts of Florida right up and through the Carolinas until after midnight tonight. Flash flood warnings going on, and we've got more winter weather. Anywhere from two to eight inches of snow on the backside of this, and heavier rains continue for the East Coast through tomorrow morning, drying out in the afternoon to turning colder and windier. Winds will be cranking right through Saturday. David? Rob, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.